Hello friends, you're already here with more of our On English Neck, a Norman Yoke CK2 playthrough. William IV is now on the throne, waiting to hear the Pope's answer to his request to preside over his coronation. Hopefully what the Pope wants is money, after all we have that in absolute spades and maybe even in excess. Also excessive on our domain size right now, one over. Uh, unfortunately, this king's uh, stewardship is a little bit lower than his father's was. Uh, and his wife is a 10. Like she's 10, 10, 10, 15, 15. She's a really great uh, queen in lots of ways with stats, but not quite enough to get us to that uh, appropriate domain size. Uh, hopefully, uh, once we start having some children, we can change off of family focus and move the king to focus on business or rulership to get uh, domain size fixed. For right now, though, what we're going to do is have one of our holdings held by someone in our court who is unmarried and loyal. Uh, in particular, I'm thinking we could look down here to our father's best friend, uh, Adam, so we'd find him. Oh, he lives here somewhere. I'm um, just before I started uh, recording today. Um, well, I'm not gonna find him now. There he is, Adam Fitz Adelise. Adelise, Adelise. Uh, unmarried, no children, 34 years old. Uh, we hope he remains a bachelor for his life. We're gonna give him, briefly, um, the County of Devon. That's right, right there. And by giving him this, he should hold on to it as a count, and when he dies, we take it back. Now, if he gets married and has children, big, big problems. Uh, may I check on someone a little bit older to ensure that it stays in our uh, personal holdings, but we'll see. But Count Adam is now a uh, caretaker, we'll call it. Caretaker for now. Uh, we have an army returning from the east also. Uh, we're interested in getting them back home real soon. And yeah, they're marching in. Uh, one of our children, or our sister rather, Princess Ida here is reading my mail. Uh, I don't want to be cruel. I don't think we're going to be cruel this playthrough. Good guys, let's uh, let her use some reading. And did ask for the Pope to send us a message. Yes, yeah, we... Um, there he is, there he is. Oh, no. Uh, to the King William IV of England, I should be glad to recognize your divine right to rule as soon as you donate the Holy Prepuce. Prepuce? Prepuce? Jesus' foreskin back to the church. All right, so we actually were gifted this item as um, a reward for our father being in the crusade. Quality three item with prestige and fertility and health. So I'd love to keep this to uh, make heirs come along more regularly, more speedily. Uh, also, I forgot that our king has cancer. It lowers his fertility substantially. Oh man, this king dies without issue, we got problems. It then revolts, uh, reverts over to Prince Faramond, our brother, who's married to a good, though lunatic, uh, <laughs> uh, Petrol Queen, uh, betrothed to a uh, mad woman who's a genius. Our very own Einstein, well, perhaps, perhaps. Okay, um, I wonder what else he would ask for if we refuse. I'm actually gonna refuse. We don't need the Pope after all. We're keeping our relic relics. I'm going to ask someone farther down the uh, bishop hierarchy. We gotta wait till 1131, uh, half a year or so to ask someone else to coordinate us. A learned Jewish man's coming to the court. Uh, he'd be a fine steward. That really is what I need right now, the fine steward. What's he like? He has some uh, negative traits. He's an administrator though. Uh, moves fast, stewards well. Uh, orders well, quick. You know what, sure. Welcome to the court, friend. Hopefully you're actually decent with us. Now, we've gotten a couple of good stewards in a row. I think the game knows my stewardship is too low. Uh, and so they're giving me some good characters, possibly. But our current steward is Diego Ruiz. Sorry, Diego Diaz of Ruen. Uh, just a, a minor figure, has no real claims to be here other than his 19 stewardship. So if we kick him off the council, uh, he won't like that, but that's okay. Now we have an open slot for our new friend, uh, Malka, the 22. Uh, hopefully he comes to like us fairly soon. Uh, yeah, we're an infidel. I don't much care about that also. We'll see what happens. So you're a steward now. Uh, make sure you're researching cultural tech as well. Got to get you back out there to work. Also, I like this, uh, this chaplain's mustache so much. Like, bright, bright orange. Matches the border nicely. Love that. I wonder if we tried to pass any laws recently. I doubt we have. Uh, let's continue with researching economy tech uh, at our current capital. Uh, a prisoner, Count Thorid the Lude, wants to be released. He's been in prison for a very, very long time. Uh, he was part of a revolt against us. He only has one monies. Um, so, you know what? Let's be merciful. Let him out. Alright, he's under house arrest now. He likes that. 
Also, my bats are still raised. I I'd like to put them away. I think they'll be back in my territory if I put them away, though, or they're gonna end up taking losses. That's, that's correct. Let's see. They arrive here in... Yerpen? Yerpen? I hope you should help in the... Uh, in the comments if you want to. Alright, so... They'll be home real soon. Hey, we built another castle in uh, Rouen. Excellent. And we have still scans of money, so let's keep on improving things. Um, let's go for... Sure. More jousting. It is the High Middle Ages. And Harlefer? Wait, what's this? Do I hold a barony? Okay, so I hold a barony again. I guess someone died. Not quite sure how that happened. We'll go ahead and give that away once more. Uh, once more with the vassals. Cool. I mean, hold a grand tournament if you want to. I put away the vassal troops first. Great. So vassal levels raised long should go away now. I'll crank you that about that. Um, raised levels only negative two opinion, not a huge amount. Then let's hold a jousting tournament. Two hundred gold loss, one hundred prestige. All knights of the realm come. Send forth the messengers to let everyone know a grand tournament is coming. You could win. You won't get anything from it other than prestige, but you'll win anyway, and who doesn't want that? All right, improved over also. Let's do a training grounds for large levies again. And soon we'll be able to ask for another coordination. That'll be in 1131 June. June is soon. Maybe it was July. It was June. That should be now, I think. Now, I think. The 14th. Wait a second. I'm now counting my fingers. Get ready for Wait, wait, wait. So, we've asked recently. Oh, we're occupied. So, holding the Grand Tournament distracts us from getting uh, coronated. Being coroned. Big crown upon our head. Let's uh, improve Winchester also. Um, sure. More towns, more taxes. It's time for the tournament to begin. For the next two months, all will show their martial brilliance. I hope we're not joining in. After all, we do have the cancer. And beyond that, we're also uh, the king. Don't want to die. We'll see who shows up and wins big. All right. I'd like to move my armies uh, up north to try to go um, force vassalization of some more of the uh, the Irish continent, if possible. Irish uh, island, if possible. My liege, your guest, Duke Rune of Daybroth, who hates us already, hates us, has been tragically wounded during the tournament. It's great. I hope he dies. I hope his heir likes us. She doesn't hate us nearly as much. Wouldn't mind him dying. That's, that's so unfortunate. So unfortunate, though. Alright, we'll raise our boats also briefly to um, bring our army here across the Strait of Dover. Uh, young Fairmond, our heir, always at the table too long. Never stops eating. Uh, we can say she got to talk more. We'll be gregarious. Get a bunch of nice points. Or... Uh, ah, the young as they are. He becomes indolence and gluttonous both. I'm going to go for gregariousness uh, because uh, he's likely to end up on a throne. And so gregariousness gives him nice perks to uh, attraction and also improves his diplomacy as well. So he got it. That's great. Uh, another duke has been killed. Tragic. I wonder if that duke liked me. He was possessed anyway. Possessed by the spirit of battle, surely. Uh, unfortunate. All of our vassals are dying in a hurry here. Hard times. Oh no, Bayron's gotten injured too. He's from Leicester. Uh, Leicester, definitely dead. I can stop asking for updates, of course, but I kind of enjoy seeing the absolute terror that's been wrought onto the families of our empire uh, as a result of the uh, jousting tournament. Fun time, seeing what happens. Okay, okay, we can't get a coronation until um, until we're not doing this anymore. All right, Loden, a far away to third place. Congratulations, Loden. Who are you? The Steward of Palace, right there. Oh, hope you're proud of yourself. Fought hard, well done. Baron Turquetel of Hardafleur won second place. Well done, my Baron. Your left-handedness probably confused everyone. They thought you were possessed, possibly, with your strange way of using your sword. First place goes to Ingava of Norga. What? Who are you? You're strong and 43 in personal combat. Well... Well done, you truly deserve it. If I had land to give away, I'd give it to you. Prosperity of the capital increases, that is fantastic. With that done, we can now uh, organize a coronation. Let's we try the Pope again, or he's gonna request the, uh, the Holy Force skin back once more, I suspect. 
Well, we'll see. Uh, put all our boats away and see what's what. So I believe I have a claim I can push for... Yeah, this is Westmeath. So one of my dukes, Duke Kongloch the Apostle, Earl Kongol of Westmeath. Yeah, so one of my... Um, one of my dukes wants this land. Oh, briefly though. A message from the Pope. Uh, soon you donate was due to the church. 350 money. How cool is that? All we had to refuse the artifact, now 350? Very well. The Pope is on his way. We don't want to launch a war when the Pope's on his way, or else that leads to uh, weird coronation events and the Pope being displeased not even coming. So how much money do we want to spend for our, uh, for our being crowned? Let's spend big money. Feast for one and all. Now, again, the real fear here is that we're going to crown this king. He's immediately going to die of the cancer. If that happens, we'll end up having wasted quite a bit of money. It'll be very sad for everyone. Uh, but only a few days remain before crown king, before God and all the subjects. Everyone's here. Never seen enough for the crown to fall upon our head. Uh, only in this ceremony gives a chance to better know the vassals. Uh, Bishop Bertrand of St. Peter's. This is our chaplain, yeah. Uh, we could be friends. Seems nice. Uh, he's cheerfully accepted the offer of friendship. He was not wrong. We have trust put in him. We've uh, ensured lasting peace between our two realms. I mean, two realms is my, uh, my throne and his working for me. Being friends with your boss. I don't know. I don't know. A little bit too much pressure. You want to go out drinking after after work? If you say no, what happens? You lose your job. It's horrible. All right. But with him as a close friend on the council now, is he kind of a loyalist? Um, unfortunately, he's still a zealot. I think if you're a, a bishop, you're a zealot no matter what. Now we'll see what happens once he loses the uh, the favor to Duchess Berthuo. All right. Morning. Is a curious visitor came to my court. A wandering scholar traveled to Rouen after hearing news of the coronation. He claims he's heard many tales of how great we are. Right, he's a scholar, a priest, brave, wrathful, cruel. You know what? If you want to be here, you could be here. There's a loyal servant. I'm sure he's in for something at some point. All right, so the only faction I get through right now that I'm concerned about is the uh, increased council power, but uh, I should actually take more council power away, I'm sure. Uh, I kneel before Pope Clemens III as a host of vassals surrounds us in complete silence. The Pope blesses me and places the royal crown upon my head, proclaiming the King of England by the grace of God. Truly and finally King, there's that crown on his head. I should make the vassals very happy. They believe that God wants me here. And who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Alright, now we're no longer um, getting coronated. We can go ahead and attack Westmeath. Uh, though I'm curious if they just like straight vassalize. No! Uh, because, I mean, actually, if I give him a little money, he might vassalize, but he has no, uh, he has some counts and earls on his team, uh, but I suspect we take about all at once. Uh, force and vassalization, we're allowed to do, we'll get the HRE and, actually, we don't have France as an ally anymore. What happened there? I'm glad we noticed this. Not a big deal for fighting one Irish count, going to be a big deal in the future, though. Uh, King Hughes the Third of France. What happened to the, uh, the prior king? History of the Kingdom of France. Uh, so, Rorgon the Spider died a few months ago of murder? The P King of France was murdered by Valeron de Blois. Wow, that's unfortunate. So, yeah, we don't have... Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, actually, it's the case that our sister is uh, married to the current King of France. Let's need to ask for a new... A lot. A lot. N no? What do you mean, no? Alright, despite the fact that the King of France is married to our sister, or going to be married to his sister, he will not give me a marriage. Oh, has France gotten smaller? I think the h may have pushed in in the south here. Yeah, so I think France is afraid because now they are tiny. But having a relationship with the Emperor is probably more important than a relationship with the King. Uh, also, I'm kind of thinking, should we try to gobble up part of, England, uh, part of France uh, from the west side here? Very attractive on the east side. We'll get to that after we get to uh, unifying Ireland, but I want to make sure that the HRE does not gobble up all of France where we get a taste also. Though, man, the HRE's got some good territory around Spain also. Um, we're down in uh, Iberia in general. They still got problems with our friends, the uh, Almoravids, but they, uh, they're doing well taking over more and more land from Lyon. Isn't Lyon Catholic, though? It is. It is indeed. So... Yeah, the Catholics in the middle are probably going to gobble up real soon. We'll see what happens. Okay. 
But for now, I would like to launch this war. And we can declare it. Um, push it for this duke. He sure would like it. He already likes me a little bit. Um, you know what? Sure. I'll make a duke a little stronger. The worst thing in the world. So a whole bunch of different um, allies are coming to help this uh, Irish friend. I don't think we need our allies, though. So I'm going to keep them on the sidelines. That will make them much, much happier. Our father-in-law has died in bed. No. We liked him. He took us fishing regularly. Uh, this is the princess of of England who's being married to Lothringia. Um, let's make her good at monies. That seems like a nice thing to do. I want to help our, our HRE friends survive for now. Eventually we'll have to uh, go to war with them, but not quite yet. Alright, nice victory there. Uh, I wonder who the other uh, allies are here. They're not coming to the war, possibly? Might be staying out of it. Oh, we're paused. Like, why is nothing happening? Why are the troops standing firm? Because we're paused, as always. As always. Alright. I think I kind of want to ignore this. My only concern is, will more troops march down from the north here? But we'll siege down. We'll figure that very quickly. And then hopefully the Irish um, earls will all bend the knee quickly. Not too interested in fighting county by county. We have to, we will. But uh, I wonder how f what this does for us in terms of giving us a uh, duchy. Duchy of Meath actually already held by... Oh. Held by the guy we're helping. That's delightful, lad. That's delightful, then. So we're actually completing a duchy right now. And then how close are we actually becoming king of England? Sorry, not England. We're already king of England. King of uh, Ireland, rather. we got to have um, quite a few more counties. Yeah, there's so many counties here. Time has passed since the coronation, but people of Rouen are still in a festive mood. Glad to see their king's status be recognized by the church. It'd be nice to see my subjects continue to celebrate my rise to the throne. We're not for the fact. They're also using an excuse to do less work. All right, so... Our capital is still Rouen. I thought I moved our capital up to uh, London. Maybe not, though. We'll look at that in a second. Uh, get back to work, lose prestige, revolt rates, rest increases. Uh, let's lower taxes a little bit. That's fine. Make people happy. The king only gets crowned once his life. Okay. I moved the crown focus here. Did I also not move the capital here? They'll move the capital during peacetime. Whoops. Yeah, I guess I didn't actually move the capital. <laughs> we'll do that next time. Um, my war ended inconclusively. Why? Did the duke die? Okay, yeah, a new duke's on the throne now, uh, over here. So, that was a good war, I guess. Uh, we can use this time now to move our capital to here. Can't move it for 600 months, that's fine, no? In the right spot. And hey, we need technology now, because we moved. So, what technology should we do? What technology should we do? Let's do... Uh, heavy infantry improvements always make sense at this point, uh, as we are doing a lot of that. And we'll go ahead and hit horses also, even though we have very few horses currently. And then we can make our cities and temples better. What will that do? Uh, higher taxes and more buildings too. Heck yes. And then lastly, over here in cultural advances, we do legalism or majesty. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up the law page and see. If I could go back to free investiture, uh, which upsets the Pope. Um... I wonder what the council would say about that. We'll see. If we go to religious control, we can then get rid of uh, vassals who are not our religion. But I think at this point, basically everyone's Catholic up here. I mean, certainly in Ireland they are. Uh, maybe we get up to the north of Scotland. Scotland is all Catholic also at this point. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, everyone's Catholic up this way. Uh, in even, even the Norwegians are Catholic. So, no, we don't need a religious uh, heterification law at this point. We need to hire centralization. This would increase our personal domain size by a bit. And it would... Well, actually, everyone supports it. Everyone supports it because it lets everyone have more domain size. You know what? Doing things that make the uh, the uh, council happy seems good to me. Uh, all of our obligations are still balanced. I would probably start shifting these around. Uh, I'd like to think about the best way to do that. I've, I've never think of any of my players ever actually switch these around, uh, except when I needed troops urgently. Uh, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and change to higher centralization. Um, I think once we're at high centralization, we can then move to our later to administration, correct? No, for that we have to have, to have legalism level 3. So this allows more session laws and vassals who refuse to refuse my interference in war just as traitors. Alright, so let's go ahead and bump our legalism again to 3. With that, we now have access to late administration. 
Um, our council does not care for this, unfortunately. We only have one supporter named Count Magnus of Cornwall. We pull up the council page. But even the loyalists are against it. The loyalists are against it because they have a favor on her. Also, I'm just going to chancel right now. So, Duke Swift right here is the best diplomat in the world. He's 61 years old. Hates us so darn much. All right, where's the nearest loyalist? All right, so the loyalists do not have chancellor points this day. All right, to make this Duke happy, this Duke actually revolterates our father once upon a time. For now, for his last days, he can be on the council. Uh, in this year, what, 1132, you're not going to live too terribly long. Uh, and we'll... Do we need to leave him on making nice with the states? I mean, do I want to get claims on anything? I, I think we, what claims do we have down here in, um, right, so we have a claim in France already, so we can launch the war over that. But I should probably get some more claims along the French border. Um, I want all of it, obviously. Well, I'm not going to launch this war actually. I'm curious what claim types do I have? I have the Great Conquest of France. You are very powerful, and so is King Hugues III of France. It's time to show them who is strongest. Having a ton of prestige and piety, you go to war for an entire kingdom. As long as they are as strong or stronger than you. Huh. Well. Well. Aquitaine and France fighting could be amazing. The vassals are down with it. The vassals want me to go to war with France. Again, if we get the HR to help, it'd be amazing. Well, come soon enough. Alright, uh, Nilo's not making any claims there. For now, I'm going to keep my chance on making nice with the uh, other other vassals. And let's do a declare here again. Now they're saying no. They're against it now because of... Uh, Zealots has more important wars currently. And yeah, my loyalist has been bribed. So how long are you bribed for, friend? How, how long are we stuck in this council causing troubles? When is the council not causing troubles? Only nine months more. All right, then we'll get to it for sure. For sure, for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and pass the law I was talking about before, which was we go to higher centralization at least, and that will pave the way for a stronger personal domain. This also makes it so that when our friend Adam dies here, he has a family now. Oh, he's going to steal my, my, my county here. All right, we have to higher centralization now, and we have too many vassals, unfortunately. Uh, but we're allowed to have one more in domain. I probably should have done that instead of giving away through the land at the end of the episode today. Well, live and learn. And we'll get back to that again real, real soon. Thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate it.